Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your bonus reading for November 5th, 2024. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you all are doing well today. Just keep in mind, Libra, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you know. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform. Whenever it does come into your energy is whenever whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? We're going to start with an Archangel Michael Oracle card, and then we will get right into the tarot, okay? So I did owe you guys another reading, okay, from a couple of weeks back now. Um, so I'm making up for that reading today. So let's get an Archangel Michael Oracle card and then get right into the tarot. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Libra for November 5th, 2024. Mm -mm -mm. Show me the cards that I need to see for Libra today, please. Let's get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Awesome. I love this one. Okay. It says positive thoughts create positive results. Okay. At the bottom, a prayer that you can use. It says, Divine love and wisdom, I call upon you now. I know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person and situation. Okay, so if you would like to pause it and read this out loud on the bottom, you can do that. Okay. So the top says, positive thoughts create positive results. Very awesome card. I like this, okay? So let's get right into the tarot, see what you have going on in your life, Libra. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Libra today, please. Show me that Libra energy. Show me the cards that I need to see for Libra today, please. Let's get it. One more. One, two, three, four. One more. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. You have the seven of cups in the reversal. Okay. In your present situation. So right now, Libra, you might feel as if you have a lack of options. Okay. You might feel this is like um, inability to choose or worse being forced into a decision against one's will. But it does have um, something to do with like a lack of options or maybe feeling that you have a lack of options. Six of Pentacles and the reversal. Um, this could be like lacking resources. Um, it could also be like maybe you're having to focus on your money at this time. Now, the way that I learned to read this card, and I will say it like this, okay? Six of Pentacles and the reversal represents uh, individual selfishness and narcissism. It also represents that there is not an equal give and take. Okay, it can be that as well. Um, something's out of balance here. Now, with the Six of Pentacles being a, um, a finance card, it looks like you are having to either work on your finances or there might be someone around you that is uh, taking more than they are giving, possibly. You do have the Ten of Pentacles in the upright position, which is um, building and leaving a legacy. So for some of you, you are building or leaving a legacy. Now, kind of how I feel with the Six of Pentacles here, um, Ten of Pentacles and the Empress card in the upright position because the, em the Empress card is Libra and it is Taurus energy, okay? So the Empress card is stability, it is resources, okay? Um, someone that you can rely on, basically. I feel like you are building and leaving a legacy either for yourself or with someone, but right now it's kind of like with the Seven of Cups and the reversal. You might have no other option than maybe to keep your head down and focus on your finances, or at least that's what you're doing right now, okay? So let's clarify the present situation for you today, Libra. Holy Spirit and Holy Angels, clarify the present situation for Libra today, please. One, two, three, four. There we go. Okay, you have the devil in the upright position. So I feel like this, for some of you, might be going back to the Archangel Michael card. It says, positive thoughts create positive results, okay? So with that card coming out here, this is a reminder that we, we are the creators of our own reality. Now, uh, I, I read the devil card as anyone or anything that is slowing you down or holding you back, okay? 
Now, and a lot of times I would read this as another person in your life, and it can be, all right? For a lot of you, it can be another person in your life, but this is basically stating to us that if we want something positive to happen, then we think positively, all right? Always focus on where you want to be or what you want to happen instead of focusing on anything negative because um, as I try to like say to people all the time as much as I can, we are constantly manifesting, okay? You will never be a better manifester than how great you are right now. It depends on how you manifest. So if you're overly focused on negative things or things that like might happen in a negative sense, then that's probably what you're manifesting, okay? So it's important to always try to focus on where you wanna be or what you would like to happen, okay? And also how that would make you feel if things happen that way. You have the 10 of swords in the upright position, okay? This is feeling backstabbed by someone, okay? This is also a card that says something is dead, done, over with. And I would say for some of you here, Libra, this could be the devil energy that you are ending, okay? You are ending this uh, devil energy. And I feel like for some of you, it's a mindset, okay? I don't know why I keep coming back to this Archangel Michael card. Positive thoughts create positive results. I feel like you are creating um, positive, positive results in your life by thinking positively. You have the Wheel of Fortune in the reversal here. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed? Six of Wands in the upright position. So, um, you know, a lot of people would read the Wheel of Fortune in the reversal as a negative thing. It does in itself represent bad luck or misfortune. But the good thing about the Wheel of Fortune in the reversal is that it represents breaking out of a cycle, one that you've been stuck in for like some time here. You have the Six of Wands in the upright position, which is public recognition, getting recognized for something that you are doing or something that you have been putting work into. So for a lot of you here, these three cards, even though these cards in, in themselves are like negative, sorry, <laughs> even though these cards by themselves are negative cards, when they're by themselves put together here, you have something that you are ending. You're putting it to rest here and you're, you're kind of keeping your head down and focusing on where you want to be. And you're getting recognized for something with the six of wands here. Okay. Let's get one more for Libra to pull it all together. Nine of Pentacles and the Reversal. Couldn't get a much better card here to clarify literally what I just said. The Nine of Pentacles and the Reversal is someone that works very hard, okay? It represents all work and no play, leads to a life of work and wealth and possibly power, but to what end? And that end is breaking out of this cycle where you're only thinking positively. You're not thinking about anything negative that might slow you down or hold you back. So let's look at the past leading up to this present situation for you, Libra. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the past leading up to this present situation for Libra today, please. Show me that Libra energy. Show me the cards that I need to see for Libra in the past leading up to this present situation. Let's get it. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, I accidentally pulled two cards, so I guess we're taking two. Okay. <clears throat> you have the six of cups in the upright position. Okay. And you have the hierophant in the reversal. Okay. Okay. Six of Cups in the upright position is giving without expectation, machination, or hidden inference, okay? So you could be giving to people around you. You might have someone that is giving to you here, Libra. Um, a lot of people, a lot of tarot readers do read this as a past person that is coming back to try to work things out with you or try to get back with you. For some of you, that might be the case. That's not normally how I read the Six of Cups. So I'm going to read it the way that I do. Okay, you have the Hierophant in the reversal as well, which is something that is unorthodox or something that is untraditional. It can also be you thinking outside of the box here as well with the Hierophant in the reversal. All right, uh, maybe like looking for outside sources as far as where you're getting your information or how you uh, look at life or something to this nature. Clarify the past for Libra, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One, two, three. Let's get one more. This feels weird. One, two, three, four. There we go. Okay. You have the Hanged Man in the reversal and the Mother of Pentacles in the upright position, okay? The Hanged Man in the reversal tells me that you are looking at life differently. You are getting a new outlook on life and how you see life, okay? How you look at everything. And it does represent looking at life in a positive manner, okay? You are trying to look at life positively. This start, like what, what is happening right here in the present for you, Libra, it started over here in the past with that hangman in the reversal. This is, uh, this is actually Pisces energy, okay? And all this is happening here in the past because you're looking at life differently. You're doing something that, you know, would be considered probably a little unorthodox with the Hierophant and the reversal. You have the Mother of Pentacles in the upright position. Very good card, okay? This Mother of Pentacles in the upright position represents 
focusing on your family, your success, your abundance, and your boundaries, okay? Clarify the past for Libra. Show me the cards that I need to see. Clarify this past for Libra today, please. One, two, three, four. There we go. Three of Pentacles in the upright position, okay? Queen of Wands. Very good cards coming out here, okay? Seven of Cups. And the Empress again. Wow, Libra, very good cards coming out for you. Twice in your reading, you have the Empress in the upright position. So Three of Pentacles is teamwork, working uh, with people around you, okay? You could, be, you could possibly be working with someone in order to try to um, focus on where you want to be or like try to build something, uh, bring something into fruition here. Uh, you might be asking for help as far as how uh, to be able to focus on yourself, to be able to give without expectation, machination, or hidden inference. You have the Queen of Wands, which means that you can always rely on your natural confidence. You can be a very naturally confident person here. Okay, this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You might have this placement somewhere in your chart. You might be dealing with one. Okay, the Queen of Wands is doing something new. Okay, so this is an energy of learning as you go which means it's not very easy for you. This means that you're still at risk of being burned because you're learning as you go. However, even if you do get burned, you have the natural confidence that you need in order to work through anything that happens, okay? You have the Seven of Cups in the upright position, which is a card of exploring options, okay? It's like right here in the present, okay? You have that Seven of Cups in the reversal, and that means that you... Um, indecision or worse being forced into a decision against one's will but that's going back to right now it's like you feel that maybe you have no other option than to really focus on things that are positive focus on where you want to be don't let anything negative like slow you down or hold you back at this time because you're breaking out of a cycle okay here in the past this is kind of like an idea of something that could be something that you do okay you're kind of like uh dibbling and dabbling in something new and you're not really sure if you want to stick with it or not okay that's what the seven of cups is given to me here Empress in the reversal, this is stability, resources, okay, looking good, smelling good, being good, <laughs> with the Empress in the upright position. It's also a card of um, having the people that you need around you that are willing to help you, okay? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Last card in the reversal, the world card, and the, the last card for the past is the world card in the reversal, so... This would be the cycle that you're breaking out of, okay? The world card in the reversal represents endless, meaningless, repetitive, redundant existence. For some of you, Libra, the reason that you are in that Seven of Cups energy exploring new options is because you've been doing something, you've been putting a lot of energy into it, you've been sticking sticking to it. What's it called? Like you're something, the grindstone, okay? You've been doing something over and over again, and it feels like maybe you're not sure if you're seeing any results or not, and you're like, you know what? I might not even continue to do this, and you start exploring other options, but even with what you did, you have gained experience, okay? So the experience that you have now, even if you do change it, you can put it into something else. For some of you, it's kind of like you went through a, a trial run here, okay? And this trial run has allowed you to be able to get to where you are now, okay? Now you're breaking out of a cycle. You've gotten at least enough experience here in the past to know that thinking positively will get you to where you want to be. So very good energy here still so far. So let's look at your future to see what you have coming in, Libra. Holy Spirit and Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see for Libra in the future. What does Libra have to look forward to? Show me the cards that I need to see. One, two, three, four. Okay, you have a pop out. You have the Father of Swords in the reversal. Okay, what is this Father of Swords in the reversal? You have the Six of Wands in the reversal. The Magician. And the Daughter of Wands in the reversal, which is in relation to the Page of Wands. So you have people around you here, Libra. It's either one of two things. You have the Father of Swords in the reversal, which is someone that is either mentally manipulative or someone that lies a lot, okay? Uh, it could be that if you're, you know, because Father of Swords, Swords is Air, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now it can be that you are, because I read the, the King and the Queen of Swords as someone that is cutting out anyone that is bad for their energy, Okay. You have the Six of Wands in the reversal, which is putting in a lot of energy and effort and not getting recognition for something. You have the Six of Wands in the upright here in the present, okay? So if there is something in your life here in the future, Libra, that you have been putting a lot of time, energy, and effort into, and you're either not getting recognition for it or it's not serving you anymore, it looks like you are cutting that out, okay? 
for some of you, it might have something to do with a person. You do have the daughter of wands in the reversal here, which is like the page of wands. Might be dealing with a younger fire sign, okay? Uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be that. This could be someone that is bratty or superficial or um, rude, possibly, with the daughter of wands. Someone that lacks inspiration towards their goals. So you might be cutting out something here, all right? Um, it doesn't have to be this daughter of wands in the reversal. We're going to clarify further with the other deck here. But the reason that I say that is because of the magician card, okay? And the magician card is manifesting something from nothing, okay? Um, if you are dealing with obstacles at this point in the future, Libra, you already have the resources that you need in order to work through whatever these obstacles are. So if you've been putting a lot of effort into something and it's not really serving you or not getting you to where you want to be, you're cutting that out, okay? You're not putting any more effort into that. So let's clarify the future for Libra, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. Clarify this future for Libra today, please. Let's see it. Let's get one more. One, two, three, four. There we go. Three of Cups in the reversal, Three of Wands in the reversal, Page of Swords reversed, and the Ace of Wands. So um, this has something to do with the people around you, okay? You have the Three of Cups in the reversal, which is gossip. Okay, it can represent third-party situation if um, that's actually the Two of Cups in the reversal if paired with the Ace of Swords represents a uh, third-party situation. This cup in the reversal, it represents one of two things, okay? Either people are gossiping about what you have going on in a negative light, probably because they're uninspired people that don't do anything with their life and they're seeing you do something with a magician card. Um, it's either that or it could also be that someone has made a mistake and they are refusing to admit that they made a mistake here, okay? Um, I don't know why that's what the Three of Cups means, but that's exactly what it states in the book that I read by Dusty White, okay? Um, obviously, you have made a mistake if you refuse to admit that, the, that you made a mistake, you know, something like that. I can't remember exactly how it's worded, but someone has made a mistake and they're refusing to admit it. You have the Three of Wands in the reversal as well, okay? Three of Wands in the reversal represents possible sabotage by a team member of a project early on, okay? So... You might be dealing with a person or maybe a couple of people here that are trying to block you. And I would say literally, it's probably because these, these people don't have anything going on and they're watching you manifest very quickly here, especially with the magician and the ace of wands here. The magician is manifesting something, something from nothing, but then dealing with obstacles, okay? And utilizing the resources that you have in order to work through whatever the obstacles are. The ace of wands is manifesting something from nothing, and it is an opportunity that comes in that you can take action on to be able to manifest what it is that you want, okay? So you have both of these coming in in the future and you have some people around you that are feeling some type of way about it. Uh, especially you have this Page of Swords in the reversal. It could be an X for some of you. That's not going to be for everyone, okay? But with the Page of Swords in the reversal, this is a card of curiosity. You have somebody that's like stalking your online pages or they're asking about you through acquaintances here, seeing what you have going on. Now, I don't really think, excuse me, I don't really think that you're overly worried about this. And if you are, I think that you don't need to be, okay? You have a lot of great things coming in for you. And that is literally what this whole reading, whole reading is about, focusing on positive things, okay? If there is something here, Libra, that you're putting a lot of time, energy, and effort into, and uh, it's not serving, your, serving you or you're not getting recognition for it or it's not serving your highest purpose, you probably are cutting it out. Let's get one more for Libra to pull it all together. You have the Knight of Wands in the reversal. It could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be a fire sign. It could be someone that is impulsive or rash or hasty or someone that takes action without adequate forethought, okay, with the Knight of Wands in the reversal. Let's get one Mystic Red Rose card on this future situation for you. See if we can get any clarity to see what's going on here. Clarify this future situation for Libra today, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. What is going on for my Libra collective in the future what does this pop out it says the runner fear of intimacy running away intensity and letting go turmoil and fleeting okay could be someone that you're in a twin flame connection with let's get one more for the future for libra clarify this future situation for libra today please holy spirit holy angels what's going on here one two three four there we go the butterfly evolving and growth next phase healing inner child and releasing the past okay so I feel like you're kind of transforming here. Someone that maybe you're in a twin flame connection with or were. It's kind of like, I feel like you're outgrowing the people around you. It's kind of what I'm getting from that, okay? So, we will see. You'll have to let me know in the comment section, Libra. 
All right, let's get Big Bubba Mac to clarify some of the situation for you. See what Big Bubba Mac has to say about it. Spirit guides, God, angel, spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, Big Bubba Mac. Show me the cards that I need to see for Libra today, please. Show me that Libra energy. Clarify this reading for me. Show me the cards that I need to see. You have Moon Cycle. Some of you might be manifesting using the Moon Cycle. We do have the full moon in Scorpio this month at, at some point. I can't remember exactly when it is. It might be soon, okay? But um, you have the full moon in Scorpio this month. What else for Libra, please? You have root chakra. You could be healing your root chakra, okay? You could be dealing with someone working out of their root chakra. This is basically the most, this is just the most basic chakra here. It represents uh, animal instinct, okay? It can also represent like um, someone that has unhealed childhood trauma, something like this. What's going on for Libra, please? Do you love them? This could be a question that someone's wondering or someone's asking you or you're asking yourself. Someone wonders if you love them here, something like this, Libra. What else? You have 212, okay. You have snake plant as well, okay. Snake plant, you might own a snake plant. It represents the mother-in-law's tongue. So you could have a mother-in-law talking about you or vice versa. You have 212. Focus on yourself and remember that your guardian angels are there to support you. You could be seeing 212 a lot, Libra. So what else for Libra today, please? You might be focusing on yourself. You have Capricorn. So you might be dealing with a Capricorn. You might have Capricorn somewhere in your charts. Okay. What else for Libra, please? One, two, three, four. We have Earth Enthusiast. You might be dealing with an Earth Enthusiast. You might be an Earth Enthusiast. If so, good for you. That's what's up. Libra. Okay. What else for Libra today, please? We have some information coming in. Okay, somebody might be coming in with some kind of information here for you, Libra. What else for Libra, please? One, two, three, four. We have headband. Somebody might be stuck in their head over you or trying to keep you stuck in your head or someone wears headbands. Something about a headband is significant here. What else? It's not the end all be all. So it's not the end of the world. This isn't the end of the road, okay? So... It's not the end all be all here. What else for Libra, please? We have Libra. Okay, so definitely coming out for yourself here, Libra. What else? You need to make a choice. There's some kind of choice that needs to be made here, Libra. Okay, you need to make a choice. What else for Libra, please? You check in on everyone else, but do you check on yourself? So if you're that person, Libra, you need to take time check in on yourself okay you can do this by reading or writing or meditating or exercising okay make sure that you take time to check in on yourself let's get one more for libra to pull it all together it's too late to apologize so yeah yep there's it's too late for someone to apologize here okay it's too late to apologize so all right, Libra, overall good reading. If you would like to reach out to me for a personal reading, all the information about that is in the description box below. And anything else you need to know about me will be down there as well, okay? Thank you all so much for the new likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It is greatly appreciated. And it does help out the channel so much, all right? Be sure to hit the notification bell so you guys know what time I come back for you. Your reading is normally on Thursday. So be looking for your reading this coming Thursday, okay? Love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, love yourself first. See you guys later.